hello welcome back to my channel once again today this is cn on on the screen and you are watching cn great councils and forest trade uh happy new day happy new month and happy new year to all of my subscribers i mean uh it's been a wonderful moment with you guys i mean last year was really really a great year and uh, we made it together we did everything we achieved everything we achieved together and without you of course there will be no me and uh, this is another wonderful year this uh, beautiful year a new year indeed and it's just like a blank sheet of paper and you have a pen right in your hand and whatever you want the year to be however you want it to look like nothing is written on that sheet of paper already you just have to write it yourself uh, and i i trust you're gonna write something great on that sheet of paper the goals the dreams whatever you did not achieve last year i'm telling you with due diligence the bible says i'm not here to preach but see yet a man uh, diligent in his work you know what the bible say now who the bible say he shall stand before and having said that i want to quickly thank all of you once again for subscribing to my channel and for coming out uh, to always click on my uh, videos on my content and i thank god for the values we've been able to give out last year and i know i am assuring you guys that we're going to give more this year and I want you to just leave your comment in the comment section below. What do you think about this channel? What do you think about the promises we made last year? Um, would you say we were able to fulfill some of them or most of them? And especially with regards to my VIP strategies, you know, I, I remember I made promises and to a very large extent, if not 100%, I was able to fulfill it as well and it's because I have you guys right inside of my heart it has always been my desire that you make huge profit and not just huge but consistent profit from the financial market and I'm believing God that this year we're gonna do very much more okay so with that being said I like you to hit that subscribe button down below if you are new on this channel that's all you need to do it doesn't take you anything extra to do so if you are new on this channel, hit that subscribe button, turn on the notification so that you join the crew because this year is going to be even more pure for you guys. So I have tons and tons of contents. I don't even know how to exhaust it. I'm going to upload. I'm going to give values to you guys this year. And we are starting off with this new pairs of course i would have made a review or uh, my first few videos on them but then i'm still studying them because of course as you can see they've not really given us much trading history and um, because of that we are still very careful with them talking about the boom 300 and crash 300 they are extremely volatile and that's why i deem it fit to make this content as to guide you and to also make some predictions with high probability of how this pair would go in the next few days few weeks or even months okay so if you must trade these pairs profitably you have to really look at what i'm gonna do what i'm gonna show you right away okay so um this is january 1st 2022 and then i'm gonna be telling you how this pair most likely how it would go and we are going to do the analysis together right away okay right away we are going to do the analysis and then we're going to do it on I have a trade running because i took a sniper entry even though the market has not given us much history but i took a sniper entry and look at you know this is the only thing we can see about the market the only record we can see about the market um just from here okay just from here that's the only history we are going we are uh, seeing um from the market okay but then let's quickly do our analysis because i'm gonna do the analysis on two pairs uh this boom 300 
and uh, of course crash 300 i have trades running on both because i was able to spot the move as soon as uh, you know i knew that the market the pairs uh you know on already so i was able to spot these sniper entries and because of the analysis i'm going to do the analysis now so that you see how it would most likely go in the next few days weeks or so so that when you are trading you are trading with informed decisions okay so this is boom 300 on daily time frame and today is of course first january as you can see or oh, first january mm, let's just go back to d1 let's get back to d1 as we do the analysis right there now if you look very well you discover that the market from the start of the history it has given us the markets descended from here okay now i want you to look at there are two uh, formations okay the boom 300 is giving us two different chart patterns and um, as we can see we don't have much history from the pair already because it's still a new pair like i said earlier however it's obvious the uh, the market is descending and it has much more momentum to the downside okay uh, now I'm talking about the two different classic chart pattern that we can spot out here I want to quickly bring in my trend line okay to do the analysis I'm gonna pick my trend line oh uh, yeah okay and then um, we're gonna pick something like this okay I, I, I'd like to change the color okay let's let's make do with the red okay but then um, I'm able to see something like this you bring it down okay um, I want to finish the analysis before I tell you the name of the pattern that is being developed okay I'm just gonna tell you as soon as I'm done um, then let's still extend it down okay now we are gonna bring a twin another one then we take it from here we take it from here already it's reversing from that point all right okay now this is the first formation we can see and it's called a symmetrical triangle it's called symmetrical triangle we're talking about i'm going to show you another classic pattern that has been developed here but this is the most likely and that's why you are seeing the market spiking at that point now okay but then we are talking about symmetrical triangle here which can break to either of the two sides of these trend lines now that make the triangle okay the ideal situation is that it has the potential of breaking either to the up that is talking about here either breaking to the down here now okay either breaking to the down here or when it comes up it can break to the up okay but then um is it can still make a move as it's about bouncing up from here now if it gives us um you know a signal a confirmation that is bouncing up it's possible for it to bounce up uh, bounce off that down side of the triangle and then get to this point and it's possible for it to break to make a bullish move or it's also possible for it to come down still within this um triangle symmetrical triangle and then you can do this until definitely is going to break to either the downside 
or to the upside of this triangle okay now if you understand this structure you will definitely know how to trade within the week within the month and in fact in the next two three four five months okay because this market is going to behave this way and it may likely break it definitely you can confine price movement to this triangle because as it is descending uh, within this symmetrical triangle it's getting narrower and definitely is going to break even either to the up or to the down of the symmetrical triangle okay but of course um uh, then you you must consider the momentum like i said earlier and volume to take your trading decision as the case uh, may be and as the market gives you entry now already i told you that we have a stronger momentum from the up we have a stronger selling pressure selling momentum. of course my students they will understand what i mean by that and that is why the most likely break may be down remember you have to take note of my choice of language i said most likely you trade what the market gives you but then you look at what the market is doing like you see that it got to that trend line to the down and then it started spiking uh from the beginning of today now it has started spiking this is early hours of um first of january okay now because of that sign is giving us now we can't say that it's bouncing off already but if you go to a um, lower time frame like m1 you discover that the market is already making a strong bullish move throughout this day in fact from um towards around um late 31st december i started making a bullish move and then if you check you see that it's making a bullish move already and if it gives us a serious sign that it's going to bounce off then the market may likely go bullish to retest this again and then when it gets there we'll be looking at it whether it's going to break or bounce off but remember i said you can't really confine it forever here it must break it certainly okay must break it certainly and if that be the case i can decide to either lock up this trade take my profit and in fact as soon as i'm done with this um what is it called this recording i can take my profit because this trade has been running for days okay it has been running for days it's not a pleasant coincidence guys it's as a result of analysis look at it and uh, i have a trade running on crash 300 as well and is one of the pairs we are going to do analysis on this very day now the second pattern uh, that is being developed here as well is what we call um i would call it is slightly ascending but horizontal channel and i'm going to put the you know trend line to show you that now now already we have the trend line to the down okay that stands this trend line still stands but we're going to look at something else right away now if i bring another trend line if i bring another trend line um to this point just as you can see i can bring another trend line here okay in fact that's where the decision for this trade came to be my students will understand what i mean now if you look at this you discover that this trend line uh is forming a kind of channel with the down trend line now if i decide to extend this you will discover that this channel is slightly ascending but it's more of horizontal that's why i call it slightly ascending but horizontal channel and if that be the case you will also agree with me that this market may eventually come this way now if it's going to break 
the trend line that forms the symmetrical triangle then it's going to come to retest this and then possibly come this way and then come this way and whatever be the case remember it's not going to go on a straight line as i'm drawing it this is just analysis but whatever be the case the price will never be confined in either the channel or the symmetrical triangle definitely one of the days one of the week one of the month is going to break either to the upside or to the downside but having understood what the market is doing on higher time frame like this you will know how to take your trading decision on lower time frame whether you are scalping or you are the trading or swing trading so guys if you've watched this video to this point please i'd like you to hit that subscribe button right away and then uh, give this video a thumbs up if you are finding value in it this is how we do it this is how we do the analysis and it's really been helping us okay now that's all for the boom 300 but remember that this pair and of course the crash 300 that we're going to analyze also they are very very volatile and if you are trading if you have enough equity to hold or to trade you can use up to 0.2 or 0.3 but the good news is that you can use 0.1 cent and in a very short time you're already in profit now i'm still going to make videos on how you can trade um this pair whether you are to trade catching spike or trading ticks but if you are trading ticks you have to really really be careful because it's so dicey and so spiky but i'm going to make another video on that this is just an analysis okay and that's all for boom 300 now let's check crash 300 i told you i have a trade running on it already but i'm still uh, very soon i'm going to close it because of the analysis we are going to do right now just like the boom 300 we don't really have so much history about this the history just started somewhere here okay just like the boom 300 and we're gonna do analysis still on the daily time frame so that as you trade within the week within the month and for the rest months uh the beginning of this year you will know how to always take your trading decision now crash uh 300 is forming a very steepy what we call descending channel very steepy and uh, you really have to be careful with your tick trading if you are trading tick already um as you can see although we do not have enough history like i said earlier but um uh, it's obvious it's very very obvious and it's showing a very serious bearish momentum just as you can see but even at that i've always emphasized that even if you know what the market is doing from a higher time frame remember this is daily time frame if you know what the market is doing and the behavior of the market from higher time frame you can always trade okay taking advantage of what is doing now that's exactly what informed my decision of taking this trade and uh, partly yeah that's partly and um already it is at the upper descending trend line of the channel and it's also crashing it started crashing from today being the first the candle the bearish candle you're seeing the red candle you're seeing this candle is for today now okay so it, it started crashing already and um, as i'm going to draw the trend line for analysis now you'll understand why i may likely exit the trade as soon as i'm done recording because i actually entered the trade late and um just as you can see right uh, also although it, it can break to either side of the uh let me quickly put it let me quickly put the trend line so that we'll begin to talk about it and then i'll begin to say goodbye for today so i'm gonna pick my trend line yeah and then i'll draw this okay i'm gonna draw this down don't forget that i'm using smartphone for this analysis because it gives me the flexibility that i need I'll make your adjustments 
and I'm gonna bring another one to the downside to the downside then I'll make my adjustment yeah make my adjustment this way right oh guys sorry about that now let's make for the adjustment to it okay right guys so um this is what we can see here a very steepy very very steepy very very steepy descending channel as we can see very very steepy descending channel uh let's make for the adjustment to it this way yeah okay yes sorry about that okay i think we can make do with this yeah if you zoom in i mean i zoom out completely you see exactly what is happening there now you see that the market is currently on that upside trend line okay so it's very very obvious that the market is on a very steepy descending channel with a very strong uh bearish momentum very strong bearish momentum and um, just like i said for boom okay although it can break to either side either the upside or to the downside and so you really have to be very very careful with your trading decision on this pair as well of uh, this new year okay especially if you are scalping on lower time frame but um in whichever case okay always try to find out what the market is doing from higher time frame don't also forget that like i said earlier these pairs are very very volatile and has not really given us much history so that we can say uh that this is how it behaves with high probability okay so you will have to take it that way now if you go to lower time frame you will discover that the market has started crashing already since the beginning of today because it's already on that trend line to the upside okay so this is a very steepy it just crashed again now so i'm gonna uh, close the trade okay it's still crashing i'm gonna close the trade as soon as i'm done recording probably or lock it up if you go to lower time frame it's still huge already of course you are not seeing it here so i'm gonna lock it up maybe somewhere here but it's most likely this market is gonna crash but i'm gonna lock it because of the support here if you look very well you discover this is a support the market has found the support here. so i'm gonna lock my profit up around that area so that if it breaks and my stop loss is hit, I know that the market is finally crashing down. But remember, you should take note of my choice of language. I use most likely, I use high probability because we don't limit the movement of price. So guys, if you must trade, boom, 300, crash 300. I'm still going to bring more analysis on other pairs like crash 500, boom 1000, and uh, boom 500, okay? You know, those are my favorite uh, pairs. So, but if you must trade, I just I should give you guys this guide and uh, I hope you find value in it. So, many thanks for watching this video, guys. Please expect great contents from me. And this is CN Great Councils signing out for today. But don't forget to like this video leave your comments in the comment section below also share this video with other traders share your experiences and if you are new the only thing you have to do is to subscribe to this channel and let's take you on a ride this new year this is cn great council once again signing out for today bye